For me, tattoo is identity, expression. It is just like any other art form, but a little bit more. The experience of traditional tattooing now is very powerful because I use these symbols and I use these designs and I use this medium as a language to tell stories. Stories about my ancestors, their philosophies, their beliefs, their way of life, their aesthetics. This is tattooing in its purest form, hand poked with precision. Morangam Kaling, popularly known as Mo Naga, is one of India's most prominent tattoo artists. Today, he is visualizing the power of a runner's leg using traditional symbols, designs and motifs. The 37-year-old is on a mission to resurrect the disappearing tattooing traditions of the Naga communities from the northeast of India. My clients are culturally sensitive, artistically curious people who are looking to express. It is a constant navigation between the person because he brings something and then I also have to share and we work with it and try to articulate and try to make sense of it through ancient knowledge, through ancient wisdom and through ancient storytelling. So it is beyond the tattoo. It is a journey that I take together with the person. This is a two-day festival to celebrate indigenous tattooing called the Godna Project. Godna is a Hindi word that means hand-poked tattoos. And Mangla Bai Maravi is one of its foremost exponents. She has travelled over 1000 kilometres from the central Indian state of Madhya Pradesh to be here in New Delhi to showcase her art. She has been tattooing the Baiga and Gond tribes since the age of seven. उनके जाति की पहचान है वो अपने आभूषण समझते हैं अपने सिंगार समझते हैं गहना समझते हैं मरने के बाद तो हम कितनों करोड़ों रुपए की गहना जेवर भी अगर पहन रहे हैं तो उनको निकाल लेंगे लेकिन ये जो हम अपने शरीर पे ये सिंगार करवाएंगे इसे कोई नहीं निकाल सकते ये मरने के बाद भी हमारे साथ हमारी मिट्टी के साथ में जाएगी ऐसे कहते हैं वो लेकिन अब सब बदल गए हैं तो अब नहीं जाते हैं क्योंकि अब तो ना माथे में करा रहे हैं और ना ही शरीर में करा रहे हैं कौन पूरे शरीर को काला काला कराएगा हम नहीं कराएंगे गांव में कम हो गया है और शहर में ज्यादा हो गया है फैशन हो गया है अब तो बैगाओं के टैटू जो है जो गुदना है वो शहर में बहुत सारे लोग बनवा रहे हैं गोंड समाज के गुदना बनवा रहे हैं बैगा समाज के गुदना बनवा रहे हैं और बैगा समाज में है ना तो मर्द लोग नहीं बनवाते हैं यहां तो लेडीज हो या जेंट्स हो जो भी हो सभी लोग बनवा रहे हैं दिस इज हंसी बाई मंगलास पटर्नल आंट and a tribal tattoo artist of the highest caliber. Just like her niece Mangla, tattooing is her only source of livelihood. The designs and motives drawn by these tribal tattoo artists are primarily inspired by the natural world and are inked with natural materials. It needs to find its place, rightful place, you know, in our cultural expression. And especially in this time when modern tattooing and the Western motives and the way uh, we adorn our body and express is so powerful, why not? Why not do it with the ones we already have, the ones that we inherit for hundreds and thousands of years? Monaga approaches his art with zen-like calm. Here on display are some of his tattooing apparatus derived from the natural world, like thorns and fiber from plants traditionally used by the Naga tribes to ink themselves. He is one of the three Indian artists to be featured in the World Atlas of Tattoo. In his quest to revive a vibrant cultural custom, he has also learned ancient tattooing techniques of hand tapping and hammering. The way we tattoo is called hand tapping, where we use two sticks, the needles are tied together and fixed to one of the stick and the other stick is used to tap the needles 
into the skin, you know, pushing the pigment inside. The Neo Naga Tattoo Revival Mission is an ongoing process. But for Mo, each artwork in itself is a step closer to his dream. So I am always a blank slate. I am there to absorb. I am like an empty vessel. I always expect uh, some magic to happen, that's all.